will need three different shades for the granny square. This is for the center, the petals, and the main background color. You will also need a 3.75 millimeter hook. To begin round one, make a magic ring. Work 12 single crochets in the magic ring. Once you've worked 12 single crochets in the magic ring, pull the initial yarn tail tight to close up the magic ring. Next, slip stitch to the first single crochet to close up round one. To begin round two, chain one and work a single crochet in the same stitch. Continue working one single crochet in each stitch all around. You should have 12 single crochets by the end of the round. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 single crochets. Slip stitch to the first single crochet to close up round 2. Now you can cut the yarn and fasten off. I like to tie knots in the initial yarn end and the final yarn end. Choose any stitch farther away from the yarn tail and insert your crochet hook. Now it is time to add the new yarn color. You can make a slip knot and add the yarn, or you can simply add the new yarn like this. Hold the initial yarn tail behind your work and crochet around it. To begin round 3, work the beginning cluster. Chain 2, yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through 2 loops. Continue repeating these two steps until you have four loops on your hook. There are now four loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. Now that the beginning cluster has been worked, chain three. Work a regular cluster in the next stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook in the stitch, and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Repeat these two steps until you have five loops on your hook. There are now five loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. Chain three. Continue working clusters all around with chain threes in between. Here you can see the initial yarn tail that I've been crocheting around. I will drop it here. Now I am crocheting around the final yarn tail from round two. I try not to crochet around multiple yarn tails at the same time as sometimes it can get bulky. That is why I space the yarn tails farther apart. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 clusters and my chain 3. Slip stitch to the top of the beginning cluster to close up round 3. Now you can cut the yarn and fasten off. Tie a knot. At this point, I like to weave in all the yarn tails except the last one. Notice how I crocheted over the yarn tail in this direction. I want to weave it in the opposite direction. I like to use my small 2mm hook to weave in the yarn ends. You can go through as many stitches as you want for extra security. Cut the yarn and continue weaving in all the other ends. Note that I'm always weaving in the yarn tails on the wrong side of the crochet project so that it is less visible. Now we are ready for round four. Join the new yarn color in any chain three space. Add the new yarn color and chain three. This chain three counts as one double crochet. Work two double crochets in the same chain space. Chain 
chain two. Now, work three double crochets in the same space. These are the corner stitches of round four. Work three half double crochets in the next chain space. Once again, work three half double crochets in the next chain space. Note how I have been crocheting around the initial yarn tail. I will drop it now. Work the corner stitches, which consist of three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Here we have corner, one, two, corner, one, two, corner, one, two, corner, one, two. I've crocheted all the stitches around and I have four corners with half double crochet stitches in between. Slip stitch to the top of the chain three to close up round four. To begin round five, chain two. This counts as one half double crochet. Work one half double crochet in the next stitch. Skip the next stitch and work the corner stitches in the chain space. The corner stitches are two half double crochets, chain two, two half double crochets. These corner stitches are all worked in the chain space. Now, skip the next stitch and work one half double crochet in the subsequent stitch. Continue working half double crochets in each stitch across until you reach the stitch right before the chain space. There should be 10 half double crochets across. Once again, skip that next stitch and work the corner stitches in the chain space. Note that for round five, you will always skip the stitches right before and right after the chain space. Repeat this around. Half double crochets, corner stitches, half double crochets, corner stitches. I've worked these stitches and now I have four corners. I have just worked the corner stitches. For the last section, once again, skip that stitch right after the chain space and now you will work eight half double crochets across. Slip stitch to the top of the chain two to close up round five. Now you can cut the yarn and weave in all the ends. For the final yarn tail, you can insert your hook into both the front and back loops of the next stitch. Pull through. Insert your hook into the front loop of the last stitch and pull through. This gives a clean finish and now you can weave in this yarn tail.
your Daisy Granny Square is now complete.